Aliens will not contact us for another 1,500 years, claimed scientists by Edmundo Bar News Punch. There's a good reason why we have not been contacted by aliens so far, and it would be another 1,500 years before any chance of a close encounter. According to scientists, we need to be patient before we hear from aliens, as the universe is a big place and our TV signals have not yet penetrated into intelligent extraterrestrial domains. Scientists have found the answer to the age-old question, where in the world are we? And is there anybody out there? Or in modern times, is there any intelligence life in the universe who can contact us and free us from our lonesomeness? The answer is no, not yet, not for another 1,500 years, allowing scientists and religious bodies more time for evaluation. That's what their answer is. The answer is based on scientific research and assumes that the universe, which is constantly expanding, has nothing better to do than to acknowledge our tiny existence in a tiny corner of it via an ET intermediary who might be blessed with more intelligence than us, assuming we are intelligent in the first place and that there are such things as blessings and that we who are the result of the universe are exploring the universe instead of vice versa. Science Alert reports, we have not heard from aliens yet as space is a big place, but that does not mean that no one is out there and it's possible to hear any time at all, but it becomes likely we will have heard something around 1,500 years from now. This is what astronomer student Ivan Solomonides from Cornell University states. He says, until then, it's possible that we appear to be alone, even if we're not alone. And he adds, but if we stop listening or looking, we may miss the signals, so we should keep looking, end quote. Solomonides is co-author of a new paper being presented this week at the meeting of American Astronomical Society, San Diego, California. The study is a probabilistic analysis of what's known as the Fermi Paradox, using calculations to help shed some light on why we might never have received contact from alien civilizations. Named after Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, the Fermi Paradox highlights just how strange it is that we have not heard from aliens yet. After all, scientists estimate there could be somewhere between 100 billion and 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone, and it's highly probable that many of these stars would host Earth-like or habitable planets capable of sustaining life. To extend the Fermi argument, it's also likely that some of these life forms might develop into intelligent or advanced species capable of developing powerful communications, technology, or traveling into space, much like humankind has. And if we accept these things, the paradox becomes clear. Even our mundane, typical spiral galaxy, not exceptionally large compared to other galaxies, is vast beyond imagination, says Solomonides. Those numbers, he says, are what make the Fermi paradox so counterintuitive. We have reached so many stars and planets, surely we should have reached somebody by now, and in turn been reached. This demonstrates why we appear to be alone. But the appearance of being alone is not the same thing as being alone, the researcher suggests. After all, human broadcasts that are capable of being picked up throughout the Milky Way have only been transmitted for 80 years in the form of TV and radio signals. These signals will propagate outwards from Earth in the shape of a sphere, the researcher explains, and while they would travel at the speed of light, since they've only been broadcasting for 80 years, that means our transmissions would have reached the radius of 80 light years from Earth. To put that in perspective, one light year is around 9.5 trillion kilometers, or 5.88 trillion miles. And that might sound like a fair stretch to you and me, but the researcher's analysis indicates otherwise in terms of the overall expanse of the galaxy, suggesting that signals we've sent into space would not have reached enough stars and planets such that we should expect an answer. Quote, we conclude that the Fermi paradox is not in fact unexpected, but the mediocrity principle, which suggests life would not be unique on Earth, and numerical modeling, it is actually unlike the Earth would have been reached by extraterrestrial communications at this point, the author writes in their study. He goes on to say, we predict that under 1% of the galaxy has been reached at all thus far, 
and we do not anticipate to be reached until approximately half of the stars or planets have been reached, end quote. Assuming the Milky Way contains 200 billion stars, the researchers calculate our signals have reached some 8,531 stars and 3,555 Earth-like planets up to now, but they don't think that's enough to expect a response just yet. But within the next 1,500 years, they say yes, that's more likely, they think. Quote, this is not to say that we must be reached by then or else we are in fact alone, said Simeonides. He said we simply claim that it is somewhat unlikely that we will not hear anything before that time, end quote. While 1,500 years might seem like an interminable period for humanity to have to wait, the positive spin is that they, hey, at least if this research is sound, we might understand a little bit better why we have not been contacted by advanced civilizations before now. And on the terms of this analysis, it's looking more likely that we'll hear from aliens someday, if not quite tomorrow. Quote, though the Fermi paradox is undeniably counterintuitive, the paper is offered as an argument that it is not, in fact, unreasonable that we have thus far appeared to be alone, the author writes. We may very well be reached someday. In fact, by the mediocrity principle, we should expect to be reached. But that day is not now or any time in the immediate future, end quote. The paper is now available on preprint website arxiv.org ahead of being peer-reviewed for journal publication. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.